Hello and welcome to Lydia's Laboratory. Today we'll be discussing the Gansfeld experiment. Gansfeld is a German word meaning entire field. In the experiment, subjects are exposed to unstructured monochrome visual fields that alter consciousness and can even cause hallucinations. More importantly, the experiment sheds light on how the human brain receives and interprets information. Before we get to the experiment, let's take a look at the basics. Our vision is based on the refraction of light. Light bends when it enters our eyes because it moves at a different speed than it does in Earth's atmosphere. That's why your vision is so blurry underwater. When light enters our eyes, the cornea focuses it on the retina. There, photoreceptors take light energy and convert it to an electrical signal that the optic nerve takes to the brain for further processing. How does the processing of these electrical signals lead to hallucinations? The reticular activating system is a group of pathways in the brain that are responsible for attention. Attention is limited, so the system focuses on events that are most important, those that are new. Sensory deprivation, which occurs in the Gansfeld experiment, could shift attention away from an entire sensory system. Usually, our visual system is bombarded with ever-changing information. We see many colors and movements all around us all the time. In the Gansfeld experiment, that is taken away and replaced with something completely uniform. So, the reticular activating system takes attention away from visual input to be put to better use. Subjects often report going blind at the beginning of the experiment. How the hallucinations actually come about is less understood. Attention is taken away from visual input, but the photoreceptors and neurons are still working together to create electrical signals for processing. Both the brain and the eyes are functioning properly. It is likely that the brain is misidentifying neural noise. Neural noise refers to random, small changes in neuronal membrane potential, sometimes strong enough to cause a neuron to depolarize the threshold and fire. Without external stimuli, it is possible that the brain begins to interpret this noise as if it were an outside force, causing hallucinations. This effect is not just seen in experiments. In ancient Egypt and Greece, great thinkers would go to dark caves and rooms where visions would come to them. Arctic explorers caught in whiteouts have reported similar experiences. Today, sensory deprivation tanks are becoming a popular way to meditate and alter state of mind. There are even museums with Gansfeld rooms that you can visit. What we already know about the brain is pretty amazing, but unfortunately, experiments such as Gansfeld often lead to more questions than answers. My challenge to you is to stay curious and get out there and find out.